probably within 10 years, this magnificent moth will be in Nottinghamshire as a breeding species. This is the Clifton Nonpareil, and it's seen quite a remarkable rise in its UK status, once regarded entirely as an immigrant moth and a real rarity. This was a much prized moth even in south coastal traps. It's now and has been for some time breeding in some southern counties, especially in the New Forest. It's known to be breeding there, but that breeding range has increased and the moth is now steadily moving and appearing more regularly up southeast in England counties and up through Midland counties. And that's what really interests us here in Nottinghamshire the most. Nottinghamshire now has two records of this most magnificent moth, the blue underwing. This superb and very large moth really is quite a beauty, more subtly marked than some of the species that I've showed you and will show you hopefully in years to come. This is the blue underwing. Not that many years ago to trap one of these, even in south coastal areas, was the highlight of many moth trappers' career. It was also for many people, a dream to try and catch this species. That dream started to become a reality for many people a few years ago, and in the last 10 15 years, some south coastal sites are now trapping this with increasing regularity, and it's almost become a normal and a very expected species. Surprisingly, with the numbers that came into the UK and started arriving into the UK, breeding was confirmed, and certainly from the New Forest area, it's known to be breeding now. But that's not the only area of the southern UK where it breeds. Most importantly, and excitingly, for us mothers further north in the UK, it's starting to be seen increasingly at light traps north of London certainly in Suffolk and Norfolk, but up through the Midlands and Leicestershire had a number of records a couple of years ago. Nottinghamshire has had two records now, and the first was in 2017 when it was trapped by members of the Lound Moth Group. I remember watching the television late at night and all of a sudden getting a text from Phil Cadman and Ian Hunt. It said simply, in capital letters, Clifton non -Pareil. I knew then that I would have two visitors at my back door the very next morning, and both were excitedly bringing me this. This is a different moth, but I remember seeing the species. It was a species I'd always wanted to see. Never hoped that I would, but knowing that the different and occasional can sometimes turn up. I thought that maybe one day I'd be trapping somewhere and one of these huge moths would flutter around the light trap. And that's what Nottingham's first did literally. Don't think it was actually coming into the trap. It was netted in flight while around the trap. This is usually called the blue undoing. I will attempt to try and get this one to show you its blue undoing. It really is quite some moth. It's happily settled down now. This one is captive reared. I've reared a number of these. Wore them as eggs during the winter. Reared the larva. Very easy to rear. 
and now I've got a number of these emerging. But what a super moth. Nottinghamshire now has two records of this magnificent moth and second coming a couple of years ago trapped by Steve Mailers in Stanton on the Wolds right in the south of the county. More will almost certainly follow in the coming years. Hopefully this species will continue its increase in its range and numbers across the UK. It's an example of global warming, I presume, how conditions have suited this species and how conditions have changed enough in the UK to allow this species to colonise. It is a beautiful moth. Its size, this is not the largest of individuals. If you've trapped a red underwing before, this is about that size. They can get a bit bigger, especially the females. But the, the forewings are stunningly marked and almost crafted. Someone's had a really good time designing this moth. And it's the general overall ground coloration is sort of an ochreous cream flushed with darker markings of greys and almost black zigzag line look across the line. And then you've got these two central dots on the wing. It's beautifully marked. I love these little dashes along the hind wing and the scalloped edge of the wings. They are brilliant things. You look at moths sometimes and you think why do they have to be designed and why have they developed such coloration and markings? But it serves a purpose and the purpose is camouflage. This is a species whose larva feeds on poplars and aspens and that will be the place to look for the larva. The larva are very large and conspicuous, being grain about four inches long. They're quite an impressive beast, the larva. But it's the adult moth that is the real beauty. And before it flies, here's why this one is called the blue underwing. So, if you trap moths in Nottinghamshire, this is one very large moth to look out for. It's an absolute stunningly beautiful moth.